Hey guys, it's me, Meteor. Here we are back to Super Mario Galaxy 2. Of course, we're going to type this little mail to see what kind of letter we get today. Of course, it's the same one, as always. But how many lives will we get this time? 99! Oh man, now we have a maximum, maximum lives we could possibly get. So now we could never have any trouble of losing lives ever throughout the rest of the game. Unless we really suck that much. Anyway, let's continue on. There's some stuff for us to do in World 4, as in anything to do in World 4. Let me just make sure I'm not missing any combat medals here that I might have missed. Nope, we're good. I'm not stupid. So here we are. Now, there was actually a star that I missed last episode that I kind of forgot about. So we'll go back here and actually show it off. It, of course, if you notice here, if you ever miss a secret star, it actually shows up a little question mark right there. It also shows up in the screen you saw before, too. So let's enter in here real quick. Alright, now last time when I actually went through this little shot thing here, I took that sling star. You do not want to do that. Instead, you just want to keep walking around this little planetoid here, making sure you make everything bloom. Everything on the planet. But first, let's break this down and get all those little star bits there. Let's make everything grow on this cool little planet here, this little cool little planetoid area. Kind of a neat little thing to do. Look how pretty everything is becoming on this little planet. It's so beautiful. And once you make everything grow, a little vine appears. And we get a second star in here. This is actually the hidden star, so yeah. Just wanted to start off before we actually continued on to another level there, since that's kind of important to get that one. So there you go. That was a little star that we missed, but we got it now, so that's the that's the main key, that's the main point. 55 star, making some good progress here. Got some more star bits, of course, some coins. All is good in life. Anyway, let's go ahead and start here. And now the level we're going to be going to next is actually going to be... Actually... I'll do this one first, I think this one's actually a little less entertaining. Honey Hop Galaxy. Now there's a new mechanic in here when it comes to the actual Bee Mario. Maybe it wasn't the first one, I just completely forget. Whatever, Bee Mario has like a new little thing you could do in here, if I'm not mistaken. The Sweetest Silver Stars. And there's the Queen Bee, everyone's favorite character when he was in Mario Kart 7. Ah, uh, yeah, that was, uh, people just loved her. Anyway. Hey Luigi, what's up? Uh, I tried to jump on you. Oh well, no big deal. By the way, here's B Mario again. You wanna be careful when you use him so you don't fly too much. Ha! <laughs> uh, sticky honeycomb, yum. Yes, he can now climb sticky walls like this. I forget if you can do that in Galaxy or not. I honestly don't really care too much about B Mario to begin with. But either way, I think B Mario is a kind of a neat addition. Jump on there, haha! -ha, take that. Now I want to be careful here. Over here, there's actually a little pipe. Let's go in there, and you'll get these little cubes here that I can actually knock over. Let's see what we get. Come on, one ups. Why do I even? I don't even need one ups. I already have 99. Well, I got three anyway, so that's good. I already have 99 one ups, but hey, I got three more just in case. And the odds of actually getting all those are actually quite slim, being as most of them are just one star bit. That's really a cheap placement, shoot me right before I even get out of the pipe. That is a cheap way to do things, jerk. Either way, let's just fly over here, now that we're done with that. Play on a little dandelion and jump off. And just keep flying some more. And of course, grabbing coins also increases your little fly thing too. So that's good to know. Nothing over there you need to worry about. No, come on. Okay, there we go. I keep trying to long jump or do other tricks, but it doesn't quite work. You also notice those orbs. They could actually knock you out of Beam Mario too, since water can knock you out of Beam Mario. Those water orbs could also do essentially the same exact thing. So that's good to know. You can of course just shake yourself out of the bubble, so it's not really that big of a deal to begin with. Especially when there are actual Beam Mario places to actually grab right afterwards. Make sure you get past this point. And now we can fly further on. And here you'll see these! You actually just glide down. Hit these balloons for the star bits. 
They want to shake it again to go a little bit further. And there we go. Now, of course, the main part of this level is getting all the silver stars. Yay. Oh, you can actually jump on those and kill them. Okay. But yeah, you'll notice when you're beam Mario, those things actually start attacking you. If you're regular Mario, they actually try to run away from you. But no. When you're regular beam Mario, they can actually do some good damage to you and kill you. So just watch out for that. They'll also try to knock you out of beam Mario. Easy. Want to go down here. Aha. Got it. There's a nice little star for us right there. No. Fine. I'll do it this way. You'll see this guy here. Z, silver star is not here. Z, silver star right down there. What are you saying? What are you talking about? Not here. Is anything actually down here? Uh, huh. Let's see. There's death. So there's there's that. I'm just gonna just walk my way back up here. Thanks, guys. I'll just be on my way. And of course, there's a combat medal over here too. So there's that. I should probably grab another beam Mario while I'm at it too, because I think I need a beam Mario for the last, uh, the last silver star, if I'm not mistaken, entirely. Beam Mario to fly, fly away, beam Mario. And of course, there's little, there's little flash liquid, flash liquidizing, ultra dowsing device looking things there. Just swing back and forth, swing back and forth, and of course. You are here. Hello, hey, land. Goodness, always a pleasure to meet a newbie. I have a favor to ask. There's a terribly itchy spot on my back. Would you be so kind as to take a look at it? This part is kind of creepy. Ah, that feels nice. Ah, that tickles. Okay, you're really creeping me out, lady. Ah, that's the spot. All right, I'm just gonna be over here and grab this uh, silver star as quickly as possible. I think you put it there on purpose, just to give me an excuse to crawl on you, that's what I'm gonna guess. And th th that sound she makes is also uh, kind of disturbing in its own right. So let's just fly away quickly and grab this star. You got a star! Oh, we're in this place again. I can tell by the gears and, uh, I was gonna say machinations, but I don't think that's actually, uh, the proper word at all. Machinery? Well, I think I've already said machinery. Gears and machinery. Whatever. And look, two more places open up. Interesting. Interesting indeed. And hey, look. We have a new Comet Medal for us to get. Or Prankster Comet, whatever. We already got the Comet Medal there. What's that? A striped mushroom? I've never seen one of those before. You, uh, yeah, have fun with your unusual toy there. I ain't judging. Is that supposed to be suggestive? I, I don't... whatever. But yeah, we have a new little power-up that we can actually add to our arsenal there. That you can't actually grab. It's just there for decoration in the Museum of Wonders and Mystery or something along those lines. Anyway, let's go ahead and venture off again to the Comet Medal, or whatever, you know what I mean. Let's fly and see what challenge awaits us. Prankster Comet detected. Big Wiggler speed run. You get to go through the entire level in a speed run. And of course, there are no time clocks or anything. You essentially have two minutes and 30 seconds to beat the level in. So, have fun. We can run. The giant Goomba of death. Come on. You're already messing up pretty badly here. Alright, come on. And. Alright, so far so good. Run! Run, Mario, you can do it! Hmm. I think I've wasted some time actually waiting for that. I think it actually is quicker to do it this way. Maybe. Maybe it's not at all. 
Aha! Take that. So I gotta run over here and try to grab this little drill bit really fast, and then run over here and use it right then. And then almost immediately afterwards, use it the second time. Flip him upside down. And then kill him. Pretty good timing so far. Making some pretty good work of time. Star bits, yay! More star bits everywhere. Of course, I got a long jump. Got a long jump a lot here. Watch out for those annoying flying paragoombas. The giant paragoomba of death. Whoops, that was almost deadly. Almost. Why did I not change the camera angle? There we go, that's a lot better. Okay, I know. I know I'm, I'm running low on time, I know. I only have a minute left. No, no, don't die, Mario, please don't die. Phew, that was close. I almost seriously died there, that would've been bad. I really would like to get to the top though, and I don't have much time to work with. All right. Don't even waste our time on that planet. Now we gotta run. Long jump. Long jump. And long jump. Of course, you still need to climb up here. Grab this star, and we still have about 17 seconds to spare. Quite nice. So there you go. I'm sure I could have done that much quicker, but I didn't, so there. Good job, Mario. Got skills. Galaxy complete. I should probably deposit some of those star bits now. Yep, why not? Let's see how many star bits do you already have. You have 1341. Okay, only I have like 1500. You're getting close back to your little spear guy again. Until the next Luma, then I'll probably be back down to regular, regular Toad again. Either way, let's just now worry about that and continue. Let's see, am I missing anything here? Nope, now we're going to fl Flipsville Galaxy here. And flying off and adventure. This is a kind of a neat little world, actually. Kind of uh, tedious at points, but it's still a very fun level. Hmm, interesting. Now there are, of course, two stars in this one, but the first one is quite fun. I definitely prefer the first one to the second one. If you notice, you can actually flip over there to the other side by actually ground pounding, and with these, if you just ground pound there, you actually kill them. What have you got to say? Ack, that thing's back. Looks so pointy. <laughs> I, I love how scared like, all the little toads are. Ooh, the soft bellies look so squishy. He's always so happy when he's, you know, not asleep. Come on, get back here, come on. Kill you. What have we gotta say? Is that our captain? How do you get way up there? Hmm, good question. We'll probably be there soon enough anyway, so no, no matter. I should just go right back down. Slam you off. If you go over this way, there's actually a common metal on this side. We have to go back to the other side here. Grab out him, kill him that way. And let's go in here and see what kind of trials await us. I wanted this, these guys again. Okay. Seems like there are actually more of them this time. But I could be crazy. Ow. Why am I even bothering? I already have more than enough lives. But... Did it! Haha! -ha. Got them all. In time. Take that. Once again, there was no point, so I already had 99 lives. I really have no use of getting any more lives at all. But regardless. What have you got to say? No scary monsters up here. I'm safe for now. Ah, Mario! I was just making sure we're all clear. Ah, sir! We spotted a monster over here. Oh no. Let's fly off further. Hey look, little teen chomp rolly ball things. 
I recommend not running right inside them, and no, you cannot flip them to death in case you're wondering you could do that. In fact, if you try to flip them, you're just gonna get damaged. Not recommended at all. So either way, just wait for the next one here. We come on, come on. There we go. Flip around. You die. I don't even know how Mario even landed to that spot right there. It looks like he would have fallen, actually fallen off. Hey, look! Star Shroom! Quickly! Hurry! Aww. Well, almost. Almost got it. Progress. Hey, look! Star bits everywhere. Now, if you notice at this spot right here, let's first kill this guy, you'll see Chainsaw's making a lot of star bits here. So, don't, you can't actually, there's actually a limited amount of them after a while. You'll start getting less and less star bits, and then eventually, when they crash together, they won't even make any more. Which I think you're probably going to see very shortly. Yep, see, you no longer make any star bits, just that one that's left. They have a set amount of star bits you can give you, and then they're done. They're pewtered out, essentially, of star bits. Duck underneath here, and you die! Now you can either just like you can also just like jump over that fence, not really a big deal. But either way. Grab these coins. Huh. How many can I get from you? Now the perspective here kind of works a bit odd. Basically, if you notice here, you can flip back over here. And hey look! The gravity changes also depending on where you flip. Go ahead and flip this way. Wait for it. And then here you have to actually time it like right in the center. Right there. And then finally, you can just kill these guys as so. Or not. I missed somehow. I somehow missed uh, death. Didn't miss death that time. I just want to kill both of them just because I can. Fine. I'll let that guy live for today. There's no benefit for that at all. Whatever. Let's fly over here. There's that little Luma guy again. According to my investigation, you must lure Glamdozer in close, then Kerthwomp. Know what I mean? Sure, I'm just going to smile and nod and guess I know exactly what you mean. And pretend I didn't actually, uh... I already do a practice run of this, but whatever. Yeah. Hmm. Now, you pretty much have to actually do this this way so you actually learn how to actually fight this guy. You hit him from underneath, and he pops up, and then he gets really mad. Or she. Looks more like a she, actually. That's definitely a she. She has lipstick. Now, this guy works a little bit differently. It's kind of hard to really judge, like, the actual... Way to, you have to wait for him to pretty much just charge at you. Now, at first, he doesn't really do anything real drastic. Wow, if I could not mess up, that'll be fantastic. That'll be great, actually. But yeah, when he runs after you, she runs after you. You hit her from underneath. But then, of course, it's never just that easy. She also starts spitting fireballs at you, too. And wow, if I could not fail miserably, that would be great. Yeah, that would be fantastic, actually. Either way, at a certain point, she's going to keep following you no matter what you do. You just want to actually avoid these, and then eventually she charges at you. So you want to actually charge from underneath her and hit her that way. So you pretty much have to wait for her to actually start breathing fire at you, and then wait for her to charge. Because if you try to actually just change perspective, she'll actually just keep chasing you. And there's no way to really, truly get behind her. It's also recommended to stay further away and not die. Oh my god, am I seriously going to die at this guy? Nope. I forget if there's a digital run of this boss, but if there is, probably going to have a bit of trouble. Or maybe it's a speed run. I forget what it is on this particular boss. Either way... You got a star! Good job, Mario. 
You're an inspiration to all of us. Hmm. Of course, we get another one of these letters from mysterious person we don't know the name of, and we get 50 star bits. So hey, that'll help. I'd like getting as many star bits as I can, especially for those hungry Lumas that get really, really hungry. Let me go deposit these, and I think I'll probably end off the episode there after I deposit all my earnings here. Alright. So next time, Super Mario Galaxy 2 will be finishing off the Flipsville Galaxy and moving on forward. So, I will see you guys then.